Hello, welcome to Lightspeed Trader. In this video, we will cover a basic introduction to the windows within Lightspeed Trader. At the top of the screen, you'll see the index bar, which shows important information such as market indices and account stats. The index bar is also the control panel for Lightspeed. It is where you can import and export layouts from the utilities menu. You can open new windows from the new menu, or you can access the user manual from the help menu. In the bottom left hand corner of the screen we have the level 2 quotes window. The level 2 quotes window shows the depth of the market's level 2 quotes. This window has the ability to show time and sales information or you can open up a separate time and sales window from the new menu. It also has a completely customizable level 1 section and can be configured with custom colors and fonts per price level or you can choose from a list of pre-configured skins by right-clicking and choosing Select Level 2 Skin. Here we have a Lightspeed chart. Lightspeed charts are highly customizable with different styles such as Line, Bar, Candle, and Mountain. Lightspeed's charts offer many studies such as moving averages, Bollinger Bands, MACD, stochastics, and volume weighted moving averages. These can be accessed by right clicking in the chart and choosing studies. Shortcut buttons can be customized underneath the chart's config settings. These shortcut buttons allow you to click within the chart to change the time frame on the fly. To the right of the chart, we have the risers and fallers window. This window displays stocks that are up the most and down the most on the day. You can also choose to show net change, inside market, percent change, and for the most active stocks, you can choose volume and last price. The risers and fallers can be filtered by right-clicking, choosing settings. In the filters, you can see that you can filter by price, volume, market, and symbol. Next, we have the account summary window to the right hand side of the screen. This window has many data fields available that show important account information relative to your account and trading activity, such as profit and loss, the number of open positions, the number of pending orders, and buying power. This window can be customized by right clicking and choosing change rows. Here's where you can see the list of available data fields that can be added to the account summary view. Next is the watch list to the left of the account summary window. The watch list is a window that allows you to monitor a custom list of symbols. You can open multiple watch lists within a light speed layout. As you can see here, I have one watch list that's showing indices, ETFs, and stocks and another watch list that's showing only stocks. You can choose from a large number of columns to display in a watch list and you can sort the data by any of those columns. Next to the left of the watch list is the ticker alert. The ticker alert is a scrolling display of stocks that are making new highs and new lows. Much like the risers and fallers, there are filtering capabilities in the ticker alert configuration settings that allow you to filter by market price, and volume, along with symbol. Next we have the Messages window. The Messages window is used to display important system messages such as market open or market closed. The Messages window also displays information pertaining to your orders and positions as you enter them. A 
above the messages window, we have the orders window. This window shows your orders and can be filtered to show the pending, executed, and canceled orders. You can also customize the colors of your orders based on order type and status from the orders configuration settings. You can access this by right-clicking and choosing Change Display. Here you see the default colors for orders based on order type and order status. To the right, we have the Positions window. This window tracks your positions in real time. The Positions window and the Orders window can both have the columns custom set by right-clicking and choosing Change Columns. By clicking on the Display sub-tab, you can also see how you can filter by closed positions, hidden positions, or showing phantom positions. You can also filter by right-clicking within the Positions window by long positions, short positions, equity positions only, option positions only, or future positions only. Next is the Hot Buttons window. The Hot Buttons window, which is used to add custom point-and-click functionality for entering and canceling orders, toggling between different pages in your Lightspeed layout, and accessing certain Lightspeed functions. In this window, I set up some order entry and cancel buttons. And this Hot Buttons window in the top right-hand corner is used to toggle between my two pages, this main page for trading equities, and by clicking on Options page, we'll toggle to the page that I use for trading options. Now that brings us to the different ways we enter orders in Lightspeed. The Order Entry window is the mouse-driven point-and-click way to send orders in Lightspeed. You choose from the drop-downs to set Market, Order Type, Time and Force, Set your price and share size, choose buy or sell, and choose go to send the order. Next, we have keyboard commands. From the configuration settings, click on the keyboard tab, and you can see that you can choose from hundreds of different pre-configured order types within Lightspeed. You can map any of these commands to either the function keys at the top of your keyboard or by mapping any single key with a combination of Shift, Alt, Control, or multiple of any of those different control options. You can also set up multiple custom commands. By clicking in the configuration settings on the custom orders tabs, you can set up a multitude of different custom commands by clicking the drop-down under New Commands and choosing from the available keys, such as Aggregate, Super Smart, or Route. Any of these keys can be completely customized to meet the specifications of your custom order. Next, we're going to toggle over to the Options page. At the top-hand corner of my screen, on the hot buttons, I will click Options page. Here you can see at the top of the page is the option chain. The option chain displays options of an underlier filtered by expiration date and strike price at the top of the window. Here, for this example, we're showing Apple options near date and near money. You can see that the calls are located to the left and the puts are located to the right. By double-clicking on an option in the chain, you can see it sends the option to the Option Level 2 window below. Here, the Option Level 2 shows the depth of the market for the symbol entered. At the bottom left, we have the Options Order Entry window. This window is used to enter single-legged option orders by selecting the order parameters and clicking Go. Next, we have the Complex Option Order Entry window, or COE, which is used to send complex options or single-leg option orders to the market. 
You can choose for a number of strategies by right-clicking in the option chain on a symbol and choosing Add Selected Option to the COE or Add Option Strategy to COE. In this example, by clicking on that single call, we have the ability to enter a covered call strategy. But as you can see from the other list located here on this menu, the different options that are available. By selecting the desired strategy, you'll see it populate the legs in the COE. In the COE, you can now set the parameters such as quantity, net price, and time and force, set the market, set the order type, and click Go to send the order to the market. This concludes our quick overview of Lightspeed Trader. For more detailed information on topics such as existing orders, complex options, and order entry in Lightspeed, please see our other training videos and weekly webinars.